So I don't have a brew, I actually have a Mars milkshake. And i tell you for why, because it's 27 degrees in this room. Probably around about the same outside. It's boiling fucking hot. And, um, yeah, basically I wanted to um, have some, uh, have a cooling beverage as opposed to um, having a cup of tea. First things first, this will be a competition episode, so there will be a competition at the end. Or I'm going to actually give some shit away. Before we do that, let's actually go and do some newsy bits, because um, there you go. Um, I know that um, I did one sort of like midweek and it was kind of shit because nobody actually looked at it because it was midweek and they weren't kind of expecting it then. Um, and this one will be a little bit later on the Tuesday because yesterday I was home in Cornwall and then I came up to Plymouth and then it was I went down to the beach and so loads of things happened. So basically, uh, there's a few things to do with Prism and the NSA and all these other bits and pieces. But Yahoo have won a battle to get over Prism Court papers, so um, which is a great, fantastic thing. First of all, because Yahoo, um, Yahoo actually fought it, and second of all, it means we can actually see what the fuck um, Yahoo were asked to do by the Pfizer Court. Uh, now, the Pfizer Court is kind of like a secret court that decides things in secret, pretty much. It it says it basically said to Yahoo. We want to have access to all your user data, you don't have a say in the matter, this is what's going to happen, it doesn't matter what constitutional rights we've broken, this is what's going to happen. And because it was all in secret, obviously not very many people kicked off about it, and that was that. Um, and now finally, Yahoo are now saying, well actually, we kind of want to publish these as public because it's not fair, and, and the actual the FISA court that actually decided it in the first place actually turned around, or Fisk even, Fisk court, uh, turned around and said, okay, that's fine, you can publish them. So the US, um, US government have got until the 29th of July to release those papers to the public and so they can be scrutinised and everything else. Which is brilliant. Um, good good guy Yahoo, really. Um, Google uh, had, a, had a few fights with the US government reasonably recently trying to get them to... Well, basically, they had a, a court order to basically give data to the FBI who didn't have a warrant... <laughs> Google turned around first of all and said, no, you can't have access to X, X data because you don't have a warrant. The FBI turned some court, a judge turned around and said, you have to give them this data. And Google kind of turned around and said, well, we can't give them this data because it's against the law to give them this data because they don't have a warrant. So that's kind of another interesting thing. So kind of, if Google do it, they're in violation of the law. But if Google don't do it, they're also in violation of the court order that kind of, well, of what the court said that you had to do. So that's kind of a bit of a grey area. Um, and Google are uh, actively fighting for... Um, when I say actively fighting, they don't take they like take down notices and things like that. They're very blanket, very broad. They don't act upon... It's like when they do like data, data requests as well. They get tons of thousands of data requests uh, from the FBI and things like that. But actually, Google are quite good and they decide... Uh, they've said that, well, we're not actually going to do a specific one. Uh, we're only going to do specific ones. If you're going to give us a, a one that covers pretty much everything, we're not going to do it. We're only going to do specific ones. If you want specific bits of data, that's fine. We'll do that. Uh, which is good. I mean, I don't know why. Well, I do know why because it's the US government and they're very, very scared of everything because obviously the entire world's out to get the US because they bombed damn near half the world. The other thing as well is Microsoft and BlackBerry are slashing prices left, right, centre. So the. Uh, I'm just reading this off a BBC News article actually. That Microsoft Surface you can get for. The, the 32 gig version, the Surface RT, you can get for 279 quid. You can get that in John Lewis at the moment, it's fucking amazing. The Surface is actually not a bad device. If you actually play with it, it's pretty good. And it actually kind of. Um, it kind of uses Windows 8 how you kind of want Windows 8 to be used. And. Um, which is great. I mean, it's fantastic. And, and the fact that br dropping the prices is brilliant because it actually means the tablet's now worth the price it should have been worth when it was first released. Um, which is brilliant. Um, that now means it's cheaper than a um, cheaper than uh, the uh, iPad, which is fantastic. And actually a device you can do shit on. Um, so you can do... You can use Word on it. You can use all these uh, all these proper apps on it that you can't use... Um, that you can't use on a proper PC. Now, obviously, the downside of that is... It's running on ARM, so it'll only support ARM programs. So annoyingly, we can't really do. Um, you'd have to have programs that are based on ARM, and um, and so basically, you're pretty much stuck to the Windows Store. Pretty much, um, there's not really any. So 
you kind of have to find things that are running on ARM. But it, it does mean you can run more virtual machines on it and stuff. I mean, admittedly, it'd be very slow, but you can do proper, proper funky PC stuff on a tablet, which is brilliant. And really, the final bit of news is that uh, the UK government are going to fund uh, fund the space race again, which is brilliant. Um, £60 million pounds are going to um, set aside for the funding of a revolutionary new rocket engine, <clears throat> which will, uh, apparently is going to go 19,000 miles an hour. Um, and it's uh, some space plane. Uh, this is from the Telegraph, uh, which is quite cool. Um, I mean, it's quite. Uh, it's called the Skylon space plane. This is pretty cool for the UK. I mean, we're already sending. We're sending a man to the ISS in 2018, I think. We're already setting aside something around the same sort of number figure, 60 million, to send him to the ISS, which is brilliant for UK. Um, for, for the UK in terms of the sp in terms of space and tourism and everything else, and it means that actually we because we are the centre. To be fair, we are the centre of science. Um, the US like to say that they're the best for science and everything else, but realistically they aren't. And uh, I mean the UK is kind of pretty shit for science because the funding we get is crap. We don't have as much funding as the US, but we have a lot more. We have a lot better people over here, and our universities are better than the US. So um, yeah, so that's that's kind of quite cool. Um, I'm quite pleased that I know a lot of people will kick off. So oh, well, you know why are we wasting sixty million on that? 60 million in terms of the entire budget spend in the UK isn't that much, so um, just quit your mining. Um, just look at the Department, Department of Work and Pensions budget for the entire year. I don't think you really need to really be worrying about 60. Just a couple of, you know, a couple of million uh, being spent on um, on little things like that. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, so, competition time. Finally, I've actually managed to get things sorted. To, so, there's going to be... Two prizes, there's going to be kind of like a proper prize and the run-up prize. The first prize includes Avengers on Blu-ray and this mug. You can see it now properly in proper detail. Um, it, I basically wanted to do this because um, I wanted to give something back to the community. I've gone past 200 subscribers now and I know that's not very much, but I wanted to give something back to the community, say thanks to, to you lot, you guys that actually have kind of well, if without without subscribers and without viewers, there's pointless doing it. And I'm not I'm not in it for. And people keep taking the piss and saying, "Oh, you're in it for the money and everything else." I'm not in it for the money, and I'm not in it for. Well, I, I kind of am in it for the fame, but I mean, I'm not in it for the fame because I'm not famous. But I'm I'm in it for helping the community and things like that. And so, <clears throat> as part of that, I want to give something back. And um, so that's the first prize. The second prize, the runner-up prize, is. These two shot glasses, which um, the Canon, the Canon zoom lenses. What are they? They're um, uh, twenty-five by one hundred five mil lenses. They're EF lenses. They're not. They're not. They're not EFS lenses though, which is and they're not EF twos either. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, two Canon shot glasses, which weren't supposed to be the case. What I was supposed to order, I was supposed. I was supposed to order the white, the white cup for me, and then I was supposed to order two of these. For I don't know two people. Oh, uh, I didn't realise these were actually the mini ones, and these were actually shot glasses. And so, um, yeah, so I'm kind of giving them up as a runner-up prize, along with Happy Feet. Um, the reason I've got Happy Feet is because I bought this for my little sister. Then my other sister bought this for her as well at Christmas. I think it was a couple of, uh, a year ago. And now I've got this kicking around. I don't want to do with it. It's no point selling it. It's worth two p or whatever. So you can have that as well. Competition rules. Um, basically, the competition is open to anybody in North America, the European Union, um, including the Republic of Ireland and Russia. And that's pretty much you lot, I'm afraid. Reasons for that is because customs is a pain in the ass in places like the Middle East. Basically, all you have to do is you have to send me an email with the subject line competition. Send it to azichill at gmail.com and with literally your name and your country and city um, and that's pretty much it um, I'm not gonna give any there's no questions you don't have to like the video you don't have to favorite anything on Twitter you don't have to retweet anything you don't have to send anything out because it goes against YouTube's terms of service for a start you can't force people to like things and everything else um, and second of all because it's just dickheadish and because you know they go so all you have to do is email me as as you chill at gmail.com uh, with the subject line competition, put your name in there, put your city and your country in there, or you know your, your rough location. I'm not expecting that many people to actually enter. Uh, follow me on Twitter at AsYouChill. Of course, you can actually share the competition if you really want to, and you can. 
like and do everything else you want to do. You can do that if you really want to, but it's not compulsory for the competition because A, it goes against YouTube's thing, and B, I don't want to be a dick on Twitter about it, and there you go. Um, I think that's pretty much it, and I shall catch you in a later video.